What's going on guys? We're checking out QGen HQ. My name is Chris and welcome back to a brand new video. This video is a bit different. It's not my straight up normal review type of video. It's kind of an opinionated rant here and that's because it's the best way I can deliver my message when it comes to the new Cape Town Ultralight 2. Um, there's things I love about the mouse and there's things I hate about the mouse. Uh, a lot of them are also on the back end of the company. These things have been changing over there which I don't really think is good. Um, so let's go ahead and break it down. When it comes to Final Mouse, I love their products. I've loved their Ultralight Phantom. I think it was a phenomenal mouse. Probably the best mouse they've ever made. $80 price point. Dope mouse. Great everything. I loved it. Then they dropped the Ninja. Uh, $80 price point. I'm not a huge Ninja fan. Like, I don't hate him or anything, but I'm not like a fanboy. But I like that they didn't OD and put his name everywhere. It was a small little name on top. Some Haiku Scrolls was unique. It was different. The red and blue was cool. Same sensor, same everything. Performed well. Great mouse. So I'm on board with their lightest mouse. Okay, 47 grams. How light is too light? Doesn't really matter. I understand it's probably based around fingertip grip because it's a small mouse uh, when it comes to competitive gaming. I'm on board with that. I really am. So the mouse uh, starts to come to fruition. I start seeing photos and videos on their Twitter and I was really taken back. Um, you know, the color of the mouse, I get it. It's a raw composite. Um, they couldn't really paint it because they also pitched these really ridiculous uh, infinity skins. These like glorified condoms for your mouse. Um, they want you to stick pieces of foam using 3M tape onto the mouse. When I saw that, I thought it was a complete troll. I was like, this is, this can't be, this is ridiculous. No one's going to want to stick pieces of, of it's not going to happen. It happened. So I was like, all right, I'm going to buy this mouse. I got to get it in review it. Maybe I'm going to love it anyway. Right. Uh, maybe I'll get by this. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Then they charge $120 for this mouse. That's when I realized, okay, this is supposed to be their last final, final mouse, right? And I don't know if you guys have been to their Twitter, but uh, whoever's running that Twitter over there does not take criticism well and does not take trolls well, all right? Um, even though, you know, this is the internet, people are going to troll you on purpose, they're going to rise out of you. Uh, he, he or she feeds right into that and just calls them gremlins. So now I, I'm, I've probably now been inducted to the Gremlin Hall of Fame because I've even addressed that, uh, but it is what it is. Um, you're the biggest company out there. You've been making phenomenal products that sell out immediately. Why even address that is beyond me. Anyway, I feel though, this is their actual, apparently their final, final mouse. They're going to go like make sneakers or something like that, um, which is whatever, good for you. But... They made so many more of these mice than other ones. I think they made like triple of their normal amount of mice, correct? And then they charge you 120 for it. So I feel like there was kind of a cash grab here. Now, these stupid little foam posit pieces that they gave us, they're terrible. I, I try to get around it. They're absolutely terrible. The mouse as is, for me, is good. I, I perform pretty good with it. I don't perform any better or any worse. I'm right in the middle. It's light enough. Um, I'm good with the fingertip grip. The mouse performs great. I like that they made the cable a little smaller, the wheels a little thicker or, or tougher, and that apparently they upgraded the um, the uh, the feet on this mouse. You know, I never had a problem with the uh, mouse glides, but people do. They upgraded that. The sensor is the same as the last three mice, so it's raw, snappy. It performs just like another final mouse would, except it's smaller, made kind of for that fingertip grip, and I'm good with this. Um, when it came to this though, this was the, the 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 ridiculous part. I feel like they should have just never included this at all. Okay, they just gave the mouse as is, smallest one ever released, take it or leave it, boom. They would have sold out anyway at an $80 price point. The mouse is not worth more than $50. Bucks. $80 for final mouse price point, I get that. But $120 is absurd. Then you add these stupid things, right? Now, they even tell you that the 3M tape to keep the back of this, okay? Because if you want to reapply it and apply, stick this to it. Look, it's 3M tape. This stuff isn't new, all right? This will eventually lose its adhesiveness, it will lose its stickiness, and fall off. Not only that, it's two different materials. This is a raw composite, right? They couldn't paint this because they need the stupid stickiness to stick to this, all right? So, this isn't going to work. What's going to happen is, in the future, first off, it doesn't even look, it doesn't even stay flush to it, all right? The edges stick up, they peel, they bend, it's a piece of foam. Dirt, dust, hair will get underneath this, it will get nasty. This also, the front of this, will change color because it's not, a, it's, it's a foam material. It's going to turn like a yellowish beige. It's not going to match. So you're forced to buy these in the future. If you're, if you need to use these to beef it up, if this doesn't fit your play style and you have to use these, you have to buy more of these. Apparently they're going to put them on their website. I don't care if it's $2, $10, $5. They should be free. They should have included like 50 of these in here. 
each piece because that proves that this is kind of like a cash grab. You know people are going to come in, they're going to buy this because this crap's never going to last. You already charged me 120 for this mouse. Why do I have to add, buy more DLC for my mouse? Right? Let's think about that. Um, it's absurd. Uh, you know, and then when you put the side pieces on as well, the foam, you lose the, the, the thickness there. The buttons are harder to hit in the side. It's just, it's, it wasn't thought out properly. It, was, it felt very rushed. I felt they should have just not have included the Infinity skins and just gave you the mouse as is and be like, deal with it. If you want a smaller mouse, you got one. Um, for 120, I would totally skip this mouse. 100% skip this mouse, okay? The Model O Minus just released. I have not used that mouse yet, but I can tell you right now, the Model O is a phenomenal mouse. I can't see the Minus being bad. Um, if you're looking to buy a, a light, small mouse, you didn't need foam posits. If you're good with the mouse as is, and you don't mind spending a ridiculous $120 price point, even if you could find it right now, um, go for the final mouse. But I feel this was a final cash grab for them. Um, the performance is there, but it's not 120 worth of performance. Uh, I'm kind of upset with the way they went with the company. I don't hate this mouse. Don't get me twisted here. I don't hate the mouse. I hate the foam. It's ridiculous. Um, I just feel like it was it was a cash grab, uh, and you guys should skip this mouse if you if you did if you get it already. But that's my personal opinion. I want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section and the description, whatever. Take the chat over to Discord. Come say what's up. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video overall. Do you guys like the new Cape Town? Am I just a gremlin and out of my mind? Am I not a free thinker here? Please let me know down below in the description uh, in the comments. All right, guys. Um, like the video if you liked it. Share it with a friend. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to give you guys a nice comparison between this and the new Model O-. All right, guys. Love you. Peace out.